super reason why you can get Super Bowl three for fourteen bucks. Yeah, that's about right for most of the stuff. But not two. You can't find Tecmo Super Bowl. Tecmo two. Super Bowl two for Sega. It, it, I don't have the Sega. Well, that's your fucking problem. What we were just talking about. There's sure. Sega games everywhere. Finding Super Nintendo is getting harder and harder. Yeah. He's looking on Half.com for Tecmo Super Bowl two. It, you know, that's it's like, nope. yeah, it's like finding right. Jesus. I mean, it's just not there. So. Hi, welcome to the Whitey White Guy Show. I'm Whitey. This is Cracker. Hey. And uh, today we're going to do a story time. And if you got a story time. All right. Time. So I have a job, mm-hmm. like some people. Um, and uh, I'm a janitor. I hate to admit this. I'm embarrassed. A custodian at a school. A private school, nonetheless. A religious school. A Catholic school. And uh, here's the bitch. I'm a thick, red-bearded guy. And, like, I, 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 Cracker and Mrs. Cracker were just sitting outside by the fire. And uh, I was like, I'm a custodian with a beard. And you guys immediately said, it's a custodian with a red beard. You immediately run up. Uh, groundskeeper Willie. Exactly. So when I started this job in August, we started, I work actually for a private company, we clear. We started a week before classes began. And the whole time I'm going, I got a thick red beard of a custodian. I have an array of groundskeeper willing material to throw at these kids. They're going to love it. Not understanding, realizing it's a Catholic school. So finally the teachers come in at the start of the week and I go, thick red beard, right? And they're like, what? They don't, they don't know about the Simpsons. They're Catholic. So it's like a complete fucking ways that's not the story but it was just like you see it's already bad so um then in the first week there's um this used to be an all-girls school okay so i was mentioning this before or to mrs craig and um so all the girls bathrooms are like over in the corner where you put a bathroom so you can take a shit in, in privacy but when they made it both girls and boys, like all the boys' bathrooms are like in main thoroughfares. You really can't have a nice, quiet shit in anywhere mm-hmm. in this building if you're a dude. So the first week, I'm still getting familiar with this place, and the stall has a latch where there's like three levels, and it's like you've got to get it in the center thing or it'll just pop right out. So I'm in there. There's people by the other ones, so I'm out in a, right on the main hallway where everybody goes, not where the adults go to have their shit in. And I'm sitting there having my shit, and I got my pants around my ankles, and thinking about my day. A bunch of platoon of, platoon of kids come rumbling platoon. in. A platoon? A platoon of kids. platoon okay. of kids. Okay. And this one kid just barges right in. Pow. Pops the, the door right open. And there's me <laughs> taking a shit with my pecker hanging down. Oh, my God. This is like the first or second week. <laughs> and up until that point, there was one point where um, the, the gym teacher wasn't there yet. It was running late, and the doors were locked. All the kids were like, yeah. like, is it locked? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, here, I'll let you in. So I let the door in, and Ed, they all walked in one time. Thank you. And individually, you kind of like, that's so weird. It never happened in a public building. I don't Go know. fuck yourself. Pretty much. So <laughs> everybody's really nice and polite, and I have the respect of everyone. Okay. And then after that, nobody has the respect of anyone anymore. Hey, you stupid fuck with the can't figure out doors. So, um, then like, I'm like, dude, take a shit. But you can't, you can't yell at them because they're kids. Or I don't know that I can yell at them yet or something. Somebody tell me what the protocol is. Cause I don't have kids in my, I don't know. And this kid's like in eighth grade. So I can't be like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, they'll shoot you. you. Boy, they'll go fine. They can, they can, they can. You have the kids or can you? I don't know. So, so I'm like, dude, dude, I'm taking a shit. Like bro code, like go outside. So that's how I was thinking, like, he never pooped. And then two minutes later, some toehead comes pouring. I'm like, dude. So now a little toy, I'm like, I, he's like, I didn't know. And he's like, you got to lock it. I'm like, I tried to lock it. I'm like, I got to stall. I'm trying to take his shit. Like, <laughs> you want to do a poop in peace. I just want to have a shit. In, you know? <laughs> is it too much? And apparently it is. It is too much to ask. So then, like, an, another week. So I don't, but nobody said anything to me. So I don't know if, like, that had ramifications amongst the ether of students. And did they tell the teachers about it? I don't know. I'm not bringing it up. So, but then I, I was like, oh, fuck. You got it. It's got to be, like, too. It, I pulled it too far towards me. I just got to push it. Now it's locked. But I know it was, like, the first week. 
days later, I go into a girl's bathroom and I'm like, knock on the door. I'm like, Custodio. Hello? I hear that. Mm -hmm. So I go in there and I'm like off my own world because I'm like, they have me in the back. like It's like um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I'm like, thank you. So I go and I'm like not thinking about anything. And I pop open a, a stall because that's why they're so clean. And there's a little girl sitting there in the thing. And I'm like, lady, jeez. And I shut the thing. I'm like, you got to let me find, knock on, get to say things. But what do you do? So I leave. And so I'm like, okay. Did she go and be like the janitor's looking at And like, now you got to worry about all shit. And like, nobody said anything. So I'm like, oh, because you had to take a poop. I'm going to go back to cleaning like empty offices, man. I hate people. <laughs> like, dude. Oh. So, but it's been a while since and nobody said a word. So I don't know. But like, what's the protocols? Like, you had a kid. Mm -hmm. Not plural, but. Yeah. You know, she's not in school, though, yet. No. So I don't know what. I go in when, 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 like, if we're at, like, a grocery store, I take her in. I'll take her into the men's yeah, room. But yeah. But I'll take her in the men's room. We'll shut the door. We'll lock it. She'll do her thing. We leave. But this is a school, and it's just a platoon of boys, a squad. It was a squad running around across the floor. It's like, fuck, I'm not. But they're kids. Well, why don't you just do the bathrooms while they're in class? There is no... They keep telling me there's, like, a set schedule, but there's really not. Uh -huh. um, and I don't know and there's a dozen classes at least so it's like some days they have music and sometimes they don't sometimes they have gym and I, I don't know any of their names yet or not so I'm just like I in any minute a whole group of kids are coming out I'm like I don't know I didn't know they were coming and so I have this gym teacher who's on my ass because I mop with water or too, <laughs> much, too much water how else are you supposed to mop <laughs> I, it doesn't make any sense, and so it's it's they've got the tile floors and they all wear dress shoes, so it's scruff scruff smart city. So he's like, just use a tennis ball. So you have a tennis ball at the end of the stick, and it gets the scuff marks out. That'll take you three months and eight days. There's no way of the square foot. So what I do is I come and I really slop it on there. I go over it a couple times, and then when you come in to like put some muscle behind it, it comes right off. It's like magic, okay? Because I'm a professional and I know my job. He's a fucking gym teacher. But I can't say anything because I need my job, as pathetic as that sounds. So it's like. Um, That's great. And now I have to watch what was it called? Sidekicks? Yeah. With Chuck Norris. Yeah. And the Garbage Pail Kids movies with no one important. No, it was. What was his oh, name? Oh, Mackenzie Aston. Again, no one important. Who's, who's brother? Sean Aston's oh, brother. <laughs> this like, is how Custer felt. When he looked around, he's like, a lot of Indians, 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 a lot of Indians. Five guys left. Fuck. And it's his back. But we're back. Our show is terminated now. We're At back. least with the channel is back. We you probably that. wish the t channel was yeah. terminated after what you have to watch. And I made so little money last year that I just got approved for an income based new payment plan on my student loans. So now I don't have to pay on my student loans right now. And then Donald Trump says, grab women by their pussy. And I'm just like, my life, man. You think he's going to win? I don't care. Because you have to watch the Garbage Bell Kids movie. See, and there's another thing, too. What? Like, Donald Trump wins or Hillary Clinton wins. You watch a Van Damme movie, whereas I, like, sit here and fret about this stuff. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, foreign policy. It's a lot easier to not care. Yeah. Blissful ignorance, man. That's my story time. So life is pretty miserable. For him. Oh, how are you doing? Doing good. It's on vacation. <laughs> I know. This is like, this is like. What is this like? This is like Hitler in the bunker in the last. For day. you, yeah, and I'm. I'm you like, know what you, you know what it is. You're Hitler. I'm, I'm the bullet. I'm Ginger Hitler. Yeah, you're the. <laughs> 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 and with that, uh, I'll just say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Whatever. If you know anything about kids, let me know when it's supposed to be. Um, good journey. Good journey. Good journey. Yeah.